Hey guys, so this week I am going to take my first child to college. And so the most important thing, of course, are the plants that we're taking to the college with us. So I wanna talk about which plants I'm giving her, which plants we're taking, are they in Lekka, are they in dirt, what should I do for a college student? That's next. So this is the college edition of plants in Lekka, plants going to college, my plants going to college. So. Ah, welcome to Pretty in Plants. If you haven't been here before, I do everything Lucca, everything plants, and try to get innovative ideas going for everything from um, planters to just creative ideas so that your space is more beautiful. And this week, I am sending off my first child to college. But before I wanted to talk about that, it's a really, really important thing that I kind of wanted to emphasize when my joy is low or my energy is low. Ever since I was in college, I, f I was taught um, to that if you give away, um, that it will be given back to you. And so that this last week was kind of a giving away week for me. I wasn't um, purchasing plants so much. I wasn't kind of consuming so much as I was creating to give. Um, I gave about 15 or 20 plants away. And it is really important in this time of COVID, in this time of um, aggression. A lot of people are feeling aggressive and are feeling um, just abandoned. Um, there's, there's so much loneliness. There's a lot going on right now. And so now more than ever, um, it's really tempting to just keep piling piling on for ourselves, plants and all these different things. But when my plants got some pests last week, I had more than one pest. I was like, stop and time to give away. Okay, to one of my friends, Priscilla, who's starting her own collection. And I got to, I was going to purchase plants for my daughter going to college, but decided to go ahead and give her some of my collection because that just frees me up to freeze up my creativity, freeze up my headspace. There's a lot that happens when I go from being a taker to a giver. And so this week was kind of about that and kind of thinking, okay, what would make her college space do well? And I wanna give you kind of five or six plants that I decided to send with her to college and tell you why. Um, we cannot use command strips, we cannot use nails. They're very strict about this dorm space. So I'm not sure, and, and we have to test for COVID when we get on campus and we can't leave. We can't go to Target, we can't make any stops. Once we get on campus, we're quarantined until the parents leave, and then the kids are quarantined for three weeks. So there's no, um, oh, this we could just go by Target or we could go by the plant store. There's none of that. Just You're supposed to take what you can and then just hope for the best. So my first plant that I chose for her dorm room is the staple plant of all plants, and it is the ficus lorata. Now, I want to say, I have seen so many videos on the ficus lorata where people are like, they're sensitive, they don't want to be touched, um, and they don't want to be moved. And I don't know if what's going on in my house, but my ficus lorata have been pretty hardy and pretty, pretty darn tough. So um, I have this one and then I, the two little baby ones I showed y'all, um, there's this one and the, these are bambinos. These are like miniature Loratas. This one's getting a leaf already. I think these have been in maybe six weeks, maybe eight weeks. Now I'm putting a little tiny bit of water down in the bottom. Um, I'm letting it have a reservoir. Y'all know I do not like any kind of reservoir until four to six weeks, but this one's gotten enough white roots and enough happiness going on. And I'm like, okay, you can have some water in the bottom. And so I decided for a dorm room, you don't have much floor space. Uh, you don't have much space anyway, but I'm going to pick three upright plants, some fluffy flowy plants, and then some kind of little, a couple of in-between plants. Not too many plants, because we just want some green, but plants do increase your concentration by 20%. That's pretty good. That's much better than Ritalin. So, um, which one of my roommates passed out, by the way, when we needed to study for a test. Ooh, that's an upright plant. 
is, and I just have these, so this is, I'm sending, I love this. I thought that was super cute for her room. And then this is a Bird of Paradise. These were at Lowe's, and that's why I have so many because they were $25 or $30. It's a lot of bang for your buck. Stick it in a corner. As long as the corner has some light, these will do well. They don't require tons of misting and all of that. And I went ahead and I put all, this is one is in LECA. It's adapted to LECA. I have watered it. So I'm thinking once a month, I will remind her to water. The other thing I did this week was put together a fish tank for her, um, for the grandmother. I did three fish tanks this week and I'll put those on the screen. Um, three betas, so they're, right now they're by themselves, but I've been watching videos and betas can actually have other fish living with them but fish water is excellent for your plants. So I think I'm gonna get her a little siphon and this little fold-up bag and have her siphon the fish tank water into here and water her plants and then put fresh water in her fish tank. Hoping that'll work. And then I'm sending her with a little pH kit for the fish tank. That's kind of ambitious, I think. Okay, so last upright plant and you can pick any of these for your dorm room, they put off extra oxygen even throughout the night. It's going to be a Sansevieria. Now, I admit that, but any Sansevieria will do. They have them in every store. I think this is a trash can. I thought that was really cute. The inside white is my pot, so I just put it down in this gold trash can and thought that was a really cute addition for her dorm room. This has pups coming out, so it has new growth. That means it's totally adapted to the LECA life. It loves living in LECA, loves having a water reservoir. Because it's a Sansevieria and it's indoors, it does take two months to drink up the water. So probably she will not need to water this, possibly until maybe Halloween, and then that'll be it for the year. So because in the winter, your plants won't need as much water or nutrients. Um, you're not gonna water as much. You still can put nutrients in them. I kind of go down to half strength instead of full strength on my nutrients in the winter time. Um, uh, uh, one word about this plant, um, the ficus lorata have done beautifully. If you're thinking about putting your ficus lorata into LECA, mine transferred. I've done four or five this summer. They've all done amazing. Um, I did kind of make them really dry. I didn't do very much water in the beginning. Just let them be dry. Give it the water them once, like, but nothing in the reservoir. They're gonna wilt. And then wait until the leaves come all the way back up and you know, okay, it's kind of like adapted now. And then wait three or four more days before watering again. No water in the reservoir for four to six weeks. They love LECA. Do not transfer in the winter. Um, they seem to not like that at all. So it's still kind of summertime, so you can still transfer, but by October, I would not transfer another ficus. Okay, so those are my three kind of upright plants. Um, and then you would think that I would take a pothos or give her a pothos for school because pothos are so easy, right? Well, no, I'm not sending a pothos with her. Now, this plant, I don't know how easy. These are to get your hands on. I see them everywhere I go, and every time I see one, I pick it up. It's my pothos. So my pothos, my easy, fluffy, flowy plant, is the Hoya Carnosa, um, or no, the Hoya Crimson Princess. It just grows, um, all kinds of growth going on. Loves Zucca. The thing I like about the Hoya is if you let it dry, it's just not dramatic. Like the pothos, when it dries out, it's sad, it's depressed. The Hoya, when it dries out, the leaves crinkle, but it it's still it still looks the same. I mean, you almost have to inspect it. Um, and then when they are happy, I have some, and I wanna tell you all this because light is gonna be an issue. Thankfully, I'm going with her and it will help set them up and see where the light is in the room. However, my Hoyas still grow when they only get a couple of hours of light a day. But this was her idea and I thought this was really cute. Um, I have a feeling you could find this at a garage sale, but we didn't really have time for garage selling. Um, she found 
this really cute cart and it's three layers. So it has three levels and her idea was to make it like a plant cart and push it where she wants it in the room, which I thought was so cute. So she's gonna put like pencil holders and some storage in the cart, but then she's going to layer some plants. So this will be maybe like, she might just have one little plant area on these really cute things at World Market. They're just little tiny, um, like macrame hangers which I thought would be cute to go ahead and put. So the macrame hangers, they always have like, almost like a little bird's nest in the bottom, and then you nest your plant down in there. And make sure, I just watered this one so it's a mess. And just make sure it's centered on the bottom. Okay, so this is this one, and they had really cute beady, like beaded ones too. I don't know where those are right now, but. I think she already packed some of the things. Okay, so that's that. And it has like a little tail. This one I think is such a cute look. Um, it would be really cute like hanging from a tall, like a ceiling or a doorway or something. Um, I did order some suction cup hooks. I'm kind of hoping, I think this would be so cute in the corner of a shower or something. So we shall see. That was one idea. Please comment down below if y'all have uh, ideas. Every college dorm room is so different. All we know is it's it's not it's not the smallest, but it's not the biggest either. Um, your propagation uh, tubes, any kind of clear glass or even not clear with water, and you can just do a cutting in there. You can do that's where I would do pothos cuttings. Is probably more in like a propagation station. This one I got from Container Store as well, and it is a vase with a magnet. So I can just stick this little cute leaf anywhere where there's metal. This is part of my rickrack collect, my rickrack cactus. They do really well in water for months and months, and they propagate, so I might do some cute, some kind of cute little rickrack cactus propagation. So I would encourage you, um, to try out LECA if you're in a small apartment. The kind of cool thing about LECA as well, because we can't do anything heavy, like this is super light because it's not in dirt. Even when you water it, it's one to two pounds at the most. It's been watered. Okay, let's weigh it. Okay, this is one pound, six ounces. It's less than two pounds. So, um, anyway, I hope this gave y'all some tips and ideas for college. Don't forget to be a giver and, um, it will spark joy in your life. If you are giving plants away, don't forget the shed-ins. There's elderly people. I'm hearing really sad stories about older people who lost their loved one during this and they're just alone. Um, so acknowledge the people around you, your neighbors, um, people who might need just a little lift. If you need a smile, give a smile. If you would like a new plant, give a plant. If you um, need money, give money. This is kind of important to our lifestyle and how we live and we've just found if I need joy, I have to spread or give some kind of joy to another person a lot of times before my joy will spark again. So I hope y'all love this. Can't wait to see you next time. Make sure you check out my Instagram because I will post pictures once we get, get to the dorm room and see what plants work and what don't. Definitely, definitely put down in the comments below if you have expertise, plants at college, advice, because I need it desperately. This is my first child out of five going to school. Love y'all. See you later. Bye-bye.